Hello, this is Joan of Arc. Joy, this is for you. Um, she asked me about oil painting. She's now in America and painting using acrylic. We had one-on-one -on -one sessions before while well, she's still here in the Philippines. And she only had the chance to study acrylics. So this is for you, Joy, and I'm going to show you the materials that you will be needing for oil painting and I hope you learn from this and as well as others who are watching us right now. So these are the oil paints that we are using for this piece. If you remember your acrylic painting you have water to thin your paints but in oil painting you have these. This is turpentine, rectified turpentine and linseed oil so these are the two basic materials that you will be needing this is an improvised paint palette from an old chocolate box for the first layer I used acrylics for my second layer I thinned oil paint using turpentine the rule in oil painting is fat over thin you need to say this is fat because that's oil so it's fat and this one is thinner so over thin meaning to say we apply first the thin thin paint using turpentine or any white spirit and then the next layer would be uh, linseed oil which is fat fat over thin from thin paint using acrylic could be your base and then oil thinned with turpentine or any white spirit and then oil thinned with linseed oil and then you can highlight them with thick layers of pure oil paint. The reason for that is because of the drying time of oil because oil dries a lot longer the underpainting has to dry faster so water evaporates faster than oil so use that and then turpentine also evaporates faster so it dries faster and then the top layers would be your oil paint thinned with linseed oil and it takes a lot longer to dry so let me show you the layers of this painting. So don't mind yet the funny face of the dog. It's still an underpainting. But let me bring your attention to this one. This part of the painting is I use turpentine and this one is the next layer wherein I used linseed oil. So those parts that are shinier are the parts where I use the layer for linseed oil. Well this one it's already dry. This one I used first a base using turpentine. Also this one so don't mind what they look. It's just an underpainting yet and I'll show you when I'm done with this. So now I'm dipping my brush on some linseed oil and picking some paint putting layers and layers of paint so this one the initial layer is oil oil thinned using turpentine and now I'm painting the third layer of oil thin with linseed oil so if you can see the other parts of the painting they're shinier this time and with more details well we're almost done here and one more thing with oil painting it takes quite a while to dry because it's oil it's not so let's wait for a few more days until it's touch dry this is John of Art saying bye bye for now and see you in our next video bye for now